welcome to Art Fashion Channel. I'm Daria, the artist who paints on clothes. And in this video, I'm gonna bleach this dress and paint t-shirt. And I'm challenging myself to connect all these customization techniques. I want them to work all together for one idea. Very interesting idea. <laughs> and with this video, I'm gonna try to put uh, cloth bleaching onto a new level. Art fashion level. And let's see how it all turned out. Let's get started. And first I'm gonna start with bleaching, of course. And I have a black cotton t-shirt, bowl with water, bleach. Such a spray bottle and I have also bleach inside of it. And of course gloves, because I'm gonna work with bleach and I should protect my hands. And now I'm gonna add bleach to water. Uh, of course I could use only bleach, but I don't want the uh, result to be too light, so I decided that better I mix water with bleach. And now I put a t-shirt, uh, half of the t-shirt, even a bit less than half of a t-shirt, into the bowl with this mixture of bleach and water. And uh, also I add uh, a bit uh, hot water from the kettle, because uh, hot water makes bleaching uh, faster. And a bit more bleach. And now let's wait! And it took probably one half hour to get this reddish result. And I think such color is okay for me, so I wash off bleach with a shower. And now again I have t-shirt on the table, a wet t-shirt, because now I'm gonna spray bleach with spray bottle. And now again I have to wait to see the result of spraying. And one hour later I have a such result. And also off camera I put a bit more bleach on sleeve and on the edges and I'm pretty happy with the result so I wash off bleach and I wash t-shirt in a washing machine. Well, bleaching is finished and now I have these little scissors and I'm gonna distress t-shirt using them. And I'm gonna make holes on the bleached part. And I won't cut holes with scissors, but rather rip holes with scissors and with my fingers to make holes look more natural. And I don't want to make too big holes, because probably it won't be comfortable for me to wear such t-shirt, but of course it's up to you. If you want to distress your t-shirt, you can make as big holes as you want. So now it's time for the last step for painting. 
and adding the idea. And you know, when I was looking at bleached black t-shirts, this bleach effect reminds me some kind of an explosion because of its reddish yellowish color on black t-shirts. And the idea came to my mind that I can bleach half of the t-shirt or even less than half and that is how I can start the explosion. And these holes, which I made, will be damages. And on the right side, I can paint something which escapes from explosion. And then I reminded poor dinosaurs, as we know, such explosion killed them. So I decided to name T-shirt the last day of dinosaurs. <laughs> Let's paint. And I put cardboard inside of a t-shirt and lately I prefer to paint on the table and uh, if you watched my previous videos you know that I painted on the mannequin, but something changed, at least for now. <laughs> and here is sketch, I'm gonna paint two dinosaurs, first one is raptor, which is famous for its fast running, and the second one is a pterodactyl, pterodactyl, <laughs> don't know how to pronounce it, uh, which gonna fly away from explosion and first i'm gonna sketch dinosaurs with a piece of soap and i discovered that i can uh, sketch with soap in my previous video and now i definitely won't skip this step uh, sketching with soap when i paint on black clothes And here are the colors, fabric paints, which I'm gonna use, pretty all the colors, because I don't know which color should I make dinosaurs. I don't want to make them too brown or too green or too yellow, so I'm gonna use all the colors. <laughs> and as you can notice, I didn't create undercoat with white paint and I'm breaking my rule to create undercoat when you paint on black cloth. But when you will practice a lot, you will understand that sometimes you don't need undercoat. For example, now I feel that I will be able to create bright colors without undercoat. To paint dinosaur, I decided to use uh, pure colors mixed with white color. For example, I use green and white, uh, yellow and white, uh, red, yellow and white to create orange. So this way I make dinosaur bright and also I create such light effect that this dinosaur is under some light, explosion light. And now is my favorite technique, uh, creating effect of movement. It's when I make strokes uh, with a big flat brush near the moving object uh, to create this running or flying effect. It's like painting an air. And for more expression, paint splashes. And now pterodactyl. And again I'm using pretty same colors and pretty same techniques.
here is my bleach distressed and painted t-shirt. like a mother of dinosaurs I want to save them <laughs> and I haven't decided yet is it sad t-shirt or fun t-shirt but it's creative <laughs> and as always guys I ask you for your support for your likes and comments I hope you like this video and for your subscriptions of course if you haven't subscribed yet and I hope to see you next time fashion is art bye bye